Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to discuss about the continuity equation in three dimensions. When the fluid is flowing in the three dimensions, we are going to apply the principle of conservation of mass to the fluid flow in the three dimensions. And by using that, the equation what we are going to get, that is the three dimensional continuity equation or continuity equation in three dimensions. Okay, here we'll take the first what is meant by continuity equation, then we'll take the what are the considerations are there for deriving the three dimensional continuity equation. Continuity equation is based on the principle of conservation of mass. It states when the fluid is flowing through the pipe at any section, the quantity of fluid per second remains constant. If the fluid is flowing through any pipe, any section, the section if you take in that fluid, the quantity of fluid flowing per second it will be uh, remains constant. That is the continuity equation. Here the consideration for the three dimensional continuity equation we are going to take. For that the fluid flow in the three directions we are going to take and for that there is the three dimensional fluid flow volume element that we are going to take and for that the consideration we are going to write. Consider a fluid element of length dx dy dz in the directions of direction of x y z. Okay, this is the fluid element which is having the length dx dy and dz in x y and z directions. Okay. And here the further we will take the velocities in the three directions. Let u v w are the inlet velocity components in x y z direction respectively. Here u along the x axis, v along the y axis, z w along the z axis. These are the velocity in x y z directions. Then let rho is the mass density of the fluid element at particular in state. Here this rho whatever the density of the fluid is there, it is constant in all the directions and that is taken as the Rho. rho is the density of or mass density of the fluid element. Then further moving, here we are going to take there is a mass of the fluid entering the phase A, B, C, D in flow. The whatever the element phase we have seen previously, there the phase A, B, C, D there is at the inlet in flow the mass of the fluid entering to that phase. We are, if you take here the mass of the fluid A, B, C, D. In this one, it's at the inflow, and E of G H, what is there? That is the outflow of the fluid. Okay, and for the inflow, we are going to take first S A B C D. That is the mass density multiplied with the velocity in the x direction, multiplied with the area of A B C D phase A B C D. The mass density is do rho, velocity in the x direction is u, u and area. That is in the direction, x direction, in x direction. Okay, that is the do y do z. The area what we are going to take here, this one for this space, the area will be the this do y. Okay, in this direction and do z. This is the area. This is the do z. Okay, up to this one C D whatever is there. This is the d z. That one do y we are going to take. And here this one. Whatever the CB, BC is there, this is the dy parallel to that. Therefore, that area we are going to multiply with that. Then, the mass of the fluid leaving the phase EFGH at what we have taken, that is the outflow, and that is equal to mass of the fluid entering the phase ABCD plus of change in the mass of the fluid for the distance dx. That is, we can write as a do by do x of the this uh, mass of the fluid entering the fluid element multiplied for the distance x. This is the change in fluid for the length dx, rate of change of the fluid flow for the length dx. That is to be added the watt mass of the fluid entering the phase ABCD. 
then that will gives the mass of the fluid leaving the element through the phase efgh that is the outflow then rate of increase of mass in x direction that is equal to what is the rate of change of the mass is there in the x direction that can be written as outflow minus of inflow there is outflow what we have taken this is rho u dy dz plus of dou by dou x of rho u dy dz into dx minus of inflow this is a rho u dy dz and here in these two terms this rho u dy dz it is a plus and rho u dy dz it is a minus first and third term will be get cancels then rate of increase of mass in x direction can be written as second term only there is a dou by dou x of this rho u you take and dou x dou y dou z and this can be written taken inside therefore the totally we can write dou x dou y dou z this is we will take as equation 1 then similarly a rate of increase of mass in y direction that is equal to dou by dou y of rho v okay that is a, the change in fluid uh, flow rate in the y direction that is given as the density and velocity in the y direction multiplied with a dou x dou y dou z that is taken as the equation 2 and rate of increase of mass in z direction that is equal to dou by dou z of rho w dou x dou y dou z that is a rate of change of mass flow rate in the z direction that is equal to density multiplied with the velocity in that direction and dx dy dz this is taken as the equation 3 then now total rate of increase in mass that is equal to equations 1 plus 2 plus 3 the total mass of the increase is in the fluid okay that can be taken here the dou by dou u by dou x dou u by dou uh, dou x plus of dou u by dou y plus of dou w by uh, dou w by dou z into dou x dou y dou z this dou x dou y dou z it is a common in all these terms and that common term is taken outside that's why you can write dou u by uh, dou rho u by dou x plus of dou rho u by dou y plus of dou rho w by dou z into dou x dou y dou z and here by the law of conservation of mass there is no accumulation of mass and hence the above quantity must be zero this as per the uh, that law whatever we are using that is a conservation of mass by that term this must be equal to zero and that we can write dou by dou u by uh, dou by rho dou by dou x of rho u dou by dou y of rho v dou by dou z of rho w into dx dou x dou y dou z equal to zero and this term this will send that side that side this term will, only this term will remains that is we can write dou rho u by dou x plus of dou rho v by dou y plus of dou rho w by dou z equal to zero because dou x dou y dou z can be sent that side right hand side that will become say zero and this equation is the continuity equation for the compressible fluids because here the fluid can, uh, density can change for the compressible fluids that we can take and if the fluid is incompressible then the rho is constant then rho is taken constant from all three terms and that will be sent to right hand side to become a zero then we can write this is do u by do x plus of do v by do y plus of do w by do z equal to zero then this is the continuity equation for three dimensional flow and for two dimensional flow the velocity component w will becomes zero then hence the equation becomes do u by do x plus of do v by do y is equal to zero and for one dimensional flow the continuity equation becomes do u by do do x equal to zero okay here our intention is to derive the three dimensional continuity equation that can be given as the do u by do x plus of do v by do y plus of do w by do z equal to zero okay here these are the this is the continuity equation in three dimensions 
ओके थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग इफ यू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट